everyone, so I'm on a bit of a roll with my videos today, so I thought I'd keep on going and do um, my autumn must-haves video. I am definitely going to be doing an autumn fashion video. I definitely keep saying it all the time. I keep saying it all the time that I'm going to be doing it, and I will. Like, my back-to-school video will kind of be that kind of style of video. Um, just haven't got around to doing it yet, but bear with me, and it will be up soon enough hopefully so yeah I'm just going to talk about my autumn into winter kind of must-haves um, and they're going to mainly be about fashion so first of all the coat if you're lucky enough to live in a warm country that uh, you don't have to have a coat then you're lucky but in England I think you definitely do need one and I finally found my one for this year I always like looking every autumn winter for a nice coat and yeah I'm going to show you the one that I'm going to be wearing. So it does up like that. It really kind of cinches in at the waist. And I don't know if you can see, but it has a really pretty kind of um, pleating around the bottom. And then it has these gorgeous toggles. I love toggle, toggly things. And it has a hood on the back as well, which is helpful when, when it's a rainy day. Um, so, yeah, I tried on quite a few, including a few, like... Um, military style military style ones um, but I really just like this one because something I'm going to be talking about in a minute is colour this is a tan one and I love tan um, so yeah I'm really rubbish at remembering prices if it's not like the actual day I bought something but it was from Primark and it cost 20 I want to say 23 pounds could be 25 pounds could be 28 pounds but definitely 20 something pounds which for any coat is absolutely brilliant, especially one like as nicely made as this one. Um, you can wear it open and everything, um, but I really like it. And yeah, go check out Primark for their coats. I must sound like an advert for them, but honestly, <laughs> I just really like it. Go and check out Primark for their coats because they have lots of different ones, including a few really nice navy and khaki ones too. Okay, so back to my jumper. Um, anyway, so yeah, coats are a definite must-have. It's getting colder, so why not get some scarves? I've shown you this scarf before. It has the giraffes on it. It's the giraffe scarf. Um, I really like it. It's huge. This is from Camden, but you can get similar ones everywhere. I also really like the snoods or snoods. Everyone corrects me. I can't think what they're actually called. Um the big round ones that you loop over, I haven't got them on me right now but yeah you know what I'm talking about from my Primark haul as well um, this is also a tan one which is going to go really nicely with the um, I don't know why I just did that, for a little cosy um, with the coat, um, yeah so scarves are definitely a must have going into the autumn winter even if you don't wear this with the coat all the time you can wear it with a cardigan with the scarf just as it's kind of transitioning into autumn and getting colder. Obviously it's autumn now, it's absolutely freezing. Um, but yeah, scarves. And then one that I just have to say is chunky knitted cardigans. I think I'd probably like suggest chunky knitted cardigans for spring summer. Because I'm just totally obsessed with them. Um, I've talked about this one in my last video. I don't know if it will go up before or after this video. But this cardigan, you've all seen the cardigans. There was one in my recent outfit of the day. Lots and lots and lots of different chunky knitted cardigans. You can get them up and down the high street. Um, especially Urban Outfitters, which is where I like to get a lot of mine from. So, yeah, chunky cardigans. Okay, so next I'm going to be talking about colour. And there's some definite colours that I'm seeing everywhere and that I'm really, really liking. First of all, I told you a while ago that khaki was definitely going to be an in colour and I love it um, this is just a, a not a chunky knit cardigan but a thin knit cardigan um, in khaki so this is kind of the sort of colour I'm talking about also you know you can lighten it up with similar colours that are in a similar kind of um, colour palette this is just a mint green vest from um, American Apparel and they're £14 so I really like to have these tucked into skirts or trousers and stuff like that and yeah, you don't have to have like absolutely everything khaki. I'm just saying that this kind of colour is really, really nice. Another colour which I'm loving at the moment and I'm going to continue to love is um, burgundy. This is again, this looks kind of pink on the camera but it's not. Um, this is the same American Apparel one. And then this jumper which I showed a while ago I think is also the kind of um, faded colours that I'm talking about. They're all kind of like faded out which I like as well and this is got the um, burgundy um, elbow pad type bits and obviously the trim around the neck 
and the bottom. Yeah, this was from Zara quite a while ago. I might still have them. But anyway, these are the kind of colours that I'm talking about. And I think they go really nicely together as well. They suit each other quite nicely and complement each other. And of course, as I was talking about, I don't need to show you again, tan. I think tan bags, shoes, scarves, coats, everything really does look nice and tan colour. I think it's a colour that can suit all year round. But again, it gives that really nice all to me um, vibe to your outfit. Obviously you can still wear bright colours through the autumn, but they're defi that's definitely a nice warm colour palette that I think looks really pretty this time of the year. And while we're still on colours, I want to show you a few nail varnishes which um, I'm really, really loving and I think are going to look beautiful this autumn. So first of all, three that I haven't shown you before, um, they're quite new to my collection. These are um, American Apparel ones, you can tell that I've been to American Apparel lately. I've got the summery ones. I'll show you the ones I got in summer. So these are my three real summery colours which I got ages and ages ago. Um, there is Coney Island which is a really light light pink colour. Um, Lisp Spirit which is a lilac, lilac -y blue. And Summer Peach which is peach, very light peach actually. Um, yeah, so I really like those colours for summer, but that was just to kind of show you how things have progressed into autumn. And I love these shades. So you've got Rose Bowl, which looks pink on here, but it's kind of a reddish pink. Um, it needs a bit of shaking up, but it's really, really nice. Then there is um, Factory Grey, which again is... On the lilac side, but it's a lot darker and a lot more suited to the colder months. And um, Office, which again is a nice mint green, but they've toned it down again from the mint greens, like the Barry M kind of greens of the summer. Um, you can get a lot of these. Model Zone are starting to bring out colours like this in their new ranges now. So these are quite expensive, expensive from American Apparel, and especially if you don't have one near you, Model Zone are really easy to get hold of in boots and stuff now. And obviously, a colour that's come right through the summer into the autumn winter probably will last forever and be a really classic colour nude. This is my nude beige from Model Zone, and this is the best nude that I've got, and I've got quite a lot of them. <laughs> Um, I love all the other ones, but this one lasts ages and it's a really gorgeous colour. One must-have product that isn't um, a fashion-related one is Vaseline. Vaseline is very important in autumn and winter um, because, obviously, you can get much drier lips and stuff like that. And I wanted to point this one out because I don't know how new it is, but it's very new to me. I only saw it a couple of weeks ago. It's the new Vaseline in um, cocoa butter flavour. So it's in this brown tin. Amazing. Um, I literally, it smells like chocolate. <laughs> I can't actually describe how nice it is. It isn't a different colour or anything. It looks like normal Vaseline. Um, I have to like put it on now. As soon as I open it, I have to put it on. Um, and it just keeps your lips really, really smooth and soft. And it just smells amazing. So, like, obviously, you can get the blue one, which is original, the green one, which is aloe vera, the yellow one, which is lemon. You can get the pinky red one, which is the lip tinted one. And now you can get this one. I um, don't think there's any more than that, but this is my favourite one. So go and get a little pot of Vaseline um, from Boots or Superdrug or somewhere. Um, and keep your lips nice and smooth all winter and all autumn. Boots. Love, love, love. These military style boots. I know they've been around for a while now, but I was a bit reluctant to get in them in the summer. Because I think for this time of the year they're going to look fab. These ones are from Primark. I thought I was worried they were going to be too chunky, but actually I absolutely love them. You can wear them with so many things, from skirts to um, trousers, anything you want. They're really, really, really nice. I've got the zip down the side so you don't have to undo all this. They were £18, I finally managed to find out. You can get them in black, but I've got them in brown, and I think I might get them in black too. But these are my brown ones. And um, yeah, especially with leggings and stuff, you can get away with wearing them with leggings and they just look really cool. So, military style boots. And finally something I spoke to you guys ages about, high-waisted trousers, aka these ones from American Apparel, which I showed ages ago, um, which were very expensive. They were like 60-something pounds. 
and they're very tailored. The ones that kind of roll up at the bottom, like that. But since then I've also got these brown ones, which are a much thicker material. They came with this belt. You can get these in a lot of shops. Um, I can't remember exactly where these are from, but they're from those kind of shops that you might find in your local shopping centre. The kind of cheaper ones, if you know what I mean. They're not really well-known high street ones. They might ch change from one shopping centre to the other, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. These ones, they're kind of similar, you roll them up at the bottom, but these ones are better, like, pushed up, so they're tight against your leg. Um, and you can wear them with moccasins, um, little um, flat pumps, you could probably tuck them into boots, I haven't done that yet, but I like to wear them with, um, what am I trying to say? Brogues, that's what I'm trying to say, brogues. Brogues are really in as well, but I don't know where my brogues are, I think they're downstairs or something. Um, but yeah. Google brogues if you don't know what I mean, women's brogues, and yeah, they look really, really cute, and I think these are just going to be everywhere from now on, I really, 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 really love them, these aren't from Next, it's just on a Next hanger, but um, yeah, these were like £29, so less than half the price of the other ones, so yeah, that's most of the stuff that I wanted to talk about, one more thing I want to talk about, um, is Scrabble rings because I've seen these on so many people now. There's lots of um, celebrities now wearing their Scrabble rings. A bit of advertising on my part, but you know, I really wanted to show you um, this one. I wear it in all my videos all the time, and you can get them from dollybobo.co.uk. And they're just really hot at the moment, a really cool, stylish, trendy piece of jewellery to be wearing. And you can get them in earrings and necklaces as well. So that's literally everything I wanted to show you. Um, I really hope you like this video and let me know if there's anything else that you want to see and I'll speak to you soon. Bye guys!